Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good week. Uh, so today, I want I want to start off my video by saying, can everybody please send their thoughts and their prayers to um, Afghanistan? I can't, I can't believe what's going on over there right now. Like when I woke up the other day and I'd kind of seen it, you know, I was on my uh, on my YouTube and it had come up the news, and I thought, what? And I clicked on it, and then. It, I just started watching all the different news articles, and it's like, oh, like this. I'm, I'm like, this may sound crazy, but I'm like, and I, I knew the stuff was going on over there, but I didn't know to that extent because I haven't personally, um, I haven't personally seen it uh, in the news or anything like that. To be honest, I don't watch the news a lot. So maybe I have missed it, but that is the first I'd actually seen that they had took over all these different um, towns and parts of Afghanistan. And they they they'd moved into this part, and it and the president of the country had to flee, all the officials, and it's just it's horrible. And there's people like Afghanistan residents that are jumping onto like, the Air Force planes, trying to like cling onto the uh, plane to get over to America, it's just, it's so, so sad, and it's really scary to think what that may mean now for Afghanistan, and my heart goes out to women in the LGBTQ community, and, you know, people that that need a voice, and, and, and need somebody to stick up for them, and, and need somebody to, you know, protect them and, and, and stand up for them and, and, and accept them and obviously with this new this this extremist group that's instead of going forward that's just going to take it back and it obviously it's not just about that it's about obviously man women and children as well of course it, it's it's horrible and thinking about it actually it hurts my heart and it stresses me out but I think, like, I feel as if I, I, I wish I could do something. I, I really do. And I find it sick that, like, all the politicians and the elites and the rich, they help, funded, they help fund this group and help fund the wars and fund all the fighting are now getting flown to safety. And all the innocent people that were nothing to do with the war, you know, just innocent civilians are left over there. It's just, it's not right. But that just goes to show that, obviously, money is power. So please pray and... There's anything that you can do to help, whether it's donating money or whatever, just please, please do it and keep them in your thoughts and even share, share, share about what's going on to keep people informed and to bring up the awareness, you know, just just do what you can. It's a horrible situation, it, it really is. But um, anyway, on a bit of a more positive note. So today I'm going to do a conspiracy theory and before I start that, I, I'm going, I start back college and I'm obviously doing a lot of shifts so I'm not going to be uploading one video a week, it'll be one video every two weeks as I'll obviously be busy at college, three days a week studying and then working, I just won't have the time to plan, film, edit, you know, I just won't have the time. But I'm, I'm not going to stop doing videos completely, I'm still going to do one every two weeks and maybe do one a week, maybe if I feel as if I have the time and stuff like that. But, Please excuse the boy racer outside my window. Um, so the conspiracy theory that I wanted to talk about today is a, a right. It's called crisis victims, right? And what 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 people suspect it is is like when something happens, like the twin towers or a flood or you know a terrorist attack or you know something like that. They think that the government and the CIA and stuff like that have got special actors trained up that when these kind of disasters happen, these actors go out and kid on that, oh, you know, this happened, that happened, blah, 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 and make it bigger than it, what, it, what it was and, you know, be very dramatic and very scared and it's to kind of, what people think it is, is why they hire these actors, is to, like, obviously stir the pot create confusion, create fear, create panic, exaggerate, make things sound worse so that it fits the government and whoever's in office at this point in time's agenda. 
and that these people are trained up as actors and they'll be like the first on the scene and they'll be given a big dramatic interview and you know all this kind all, all that kind of stuff they're called crisis actors if you google that you'll see more information on it but the reason that people think this is because there was a lady i can't even remember what it was and it was when all this was going on at the white house like all the um what was that the black lives matter stuff um and, and there was a, I think there was an, a, there was another one, an anti-gay march as well. And the person that, that, that was this lady, and I think uh, her name was like Savannah or, or something like that. And she was, she was talking to um, a news reporter and she's saying to this news reporter, oh, you know, uh, people were, you know, they had guns, they had weapons, they were fighting, they were shouting um, racial hate or, or or um, home, homophobic stuff, all that kind of stuff. And someone just randomly watching decided to start searching for this person. I couldn't find the person anywhere. Didn't have a Facebook, didn't have an Instagram, didn't have a Twitter, nothing. And this was a young person. And I'm not saying, some people don't have social media, fair enough. But this person also, I, I don't know what they've done. They worked for some sort of like record company or something. Or like in the area, you can like see people that stay around that surrounding area, something like that. They had done that, and no one by that name that supposedly lived at that address that existed. The person did not exist, and that obviously feeds into the conspiracy theory that there's crisis actors. So it's people with made up names, made up backstories, that are put in front of the camera when something bad's happened or a natural disaster or a terrorist attack, whatever it may be, and they're made to play up to the camera to exaggerate, and that's to frighten the public, i.e. us, into subservience and into believing what the media are portraying to us. And, you know, it all kind of links in because at the end of the day, right, when you think about it, right, so it kind of goes like a, it, it, it's like a hierarchy. So say this brush is the government, right, but I do believe that above the government, there's a higher power pulling the strings. So you've got the higher power that's pulling the strings. Then you've got the government. Then you've got the media. Then you've got TV, newspaper, newspapers, and then us. And it, it, it kind of goes, kind of goes like a, like a hierarchy, like a triangle. And the further, but they're all together. Like they, they all make one thing. The, the, like the, the, the end goal that they're all trying to reach it's the same. It's just they're all playing different parts to help reach that goal. And I, I, I do think that that's possible. Because at the end of the day, right, when, right, you know how you get the news reporters that like stand outside Parliament and they'll report on what's happening in Parliament and what's getting said and what they're talking about and what the outcome's going to be and blah, what's hap, blah, 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 blah. When you really think about it, right, that information is coming from Parliament, being passed on to this news journalist, they're then passing it on to us. How do we know that, it, that that's true? How do we know that what the Parliament's saying and passing on to them, then pass, how do we know it's true and it's not just propaganda? Like, propaganda is legit. Like, it, they used to put in Disney films, TV shows back when the war was on, propaganda. Even if you watch old, like, Hollywood films that were made in, like, the 30s, 40s, early 50s, it's full of propaganda. It is full of it. Honestly, it, 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 it's everywhere and music videos and so like, it's just, it's crazy. And it's crazy when you start to know about these kind of things and you start to, you start to notice it everywhere and you start to see, oh my God, it, it's everywhere. And that's why they say it's like hidden plain sight because it's like, you don't try and hide it very well. It's kind of pushed on your face. But if you don't know about it, you don't see it kind of thing, if that makes sense. And it's scary to think about because, you know, it is known facts that our governments do fund wars and they do fund the enemy and you, you start to think, well, why are they funding the enemy? Why are they giving the enemy all these money and all, all this money and all these guns and funding all these wars? And, and But then we don't ever question it. We just kind of go, okay, that's just the way it is and we just accept it. Like, I think we have to start a revolution. I really do. We need to start a revolution. We need to march into parliament you know, whatever, march into Parliament, get all the rich out and just, you know, start again. 
because I genuinely think that we are just cattle to them, we are just sheep. It's like, they're all war criminals, like, they're actually war criminals. Like, they talk about, oh, you know, you know, it's so sad. Oh, did you guys see this? It's totally random off topic, but I dyed my hair back dark. Um, like, they say, oh, we're so, we're so, we feel so bad about the war. It's like, you feel so bad about the war, but you sent soldiers over to kill thousands of women and children, and you're the commander-in-chief. That was you that gave the green light to that, and many other wars. And it, So it's like, but I do think to have, to be high up, you really have to be a psychopath. I really do. I don't think anybody could have that high up a job without being a bit sadistic, because that, that's big decisions they make. But, you know, back to the conspiracy theory. So, people do think that crisis, crisis actors are people that the gov that's on the government's payroll or on the CIA's payroll that are told to go out first when a disaster happens and kind of scare the public. And I believe that's true because you only need to look at newspapers, for instance. The headlines, it's like to scare us and... You know, when you see like politicians up giving speeches, it's always about the enemy, war, terrorism. It's like constantly trying to ingrain that into our heads, like the you know, and it, and it's to get us to all turn against each other and to all fight with each other because for them to be in control and for them to get away with what they get away with. We all have to be living in madness. Like, we all have to be fighting each other, being greedy, being selfish, money, land. Like, why can't we all just... Why can't the world belong to all of us and we all just go to all every, anywhere we want because we're all human beings, we all live on this planet together? Why does... We have to own parts of it and you can't come in and you can't, you can, but you can't, like... Why can't we just live in a free, open world? Obviously, we need safety points, like checks before people come into the country to make sure they're not a terrorist and everything's great. That's fair, I understand that. But why should we say who comes into our country and who doesn't? Like, I think it's a free world and it, we were put here to enjoy the world together and I don't think that we respect the world and I don't think that we respect Mother Nature the way we should. I don't think we appreciate it as much as we should and that's that's really really sad but I think these governments I think that's our ultimate aim I think it's to have us all fighting and to start wars and half the wars like if you look at it's the government are funding these wars and before and I personally a lot of people will not agree with this but this is just my opinion and how I feel uh, and I respect your opinion but I personally don't think I think that the government and George Bush had some sort of part to play in the Twin Towers. I really do. And I know a lot of people, that's not a very popular one, but I do think that because I find it strange that before the war, he was wanting to go in and take all this oil and <coughs> was really, was had been in contact with the Prime Minister or whatever at the time and been told that he couldn't have any oil from... Afghanistan and then suddenly the Twin Towers and this big war makes you think and I actually read an article and one somebody from government I don't know who it was had said that the Taliban will be left alone as long as they don't interfere with the US's mission or what they're doing over there and I'm like well they're not fighting a war anymore, so what mission? Like, what What have they just leave yous to do? Like, what are yous doing over there that yous are saying, yeah, we'll leave them alone as long as we don't interfere with what we're doing over here? What, taking oil? You know? I always feel as if on camera this eye looks squinty, but I think it's because, like, the way... I, I don't know. It's weird. So that's totally off topic. But, yeah, it's like, well... You just withdrew your troops and there's no longer, he's no longer fighting, so what's still going on over there? I don't know, the whole thing's just weird, but when it comes to like governments and stuff like that, well, this kind of stuff does not, does not surprise me. They're all corrupt, they're all sadistic, they're all occultists, like, it's crazy to me. And this whole thing with the crisis actors, like people that are paid, that are on their payroll, that's so believable, like the, the FBI, it's known that they have people like that. Like, this is facts. It's just that people, you know, they sometimes don't really take their time to kind of look into it. And, you know, as I said, don't take me as the be-all and end-all. Like, if you want to know more about this, Google it, YouTube it. There's so much stuff on it that you can see.
about it. Um, but I'm going to shoot because I'm going for a massage at three. Um, I was out at the weekend and I fell about six times on the dance floor, usual. So I'm going to go get a wee massage and get all these knots out. But as I said, if you guys want to learn more about these crisis actors and the conspiracy theory and what events, you know, this was caught in, just Google it because there's multiple interviews of when disasters have meant to happen and people are giving, oh, this happened, that happened. And there's like, these people don't exist or, or the names are funny or these people appear as if they're acting. It doesn't seem genuine, if that makes sense. It, it just, it, it baffles me. It, it's crazy, but it would not surprise me. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week. Hope you all have a good weekend um, and stay gorgeous. Bye.